Hey there guys, Red Rock from HD Gaming here, and uh, I'm today I'm going to be showing you how you can optimize your network settings for your current internet connection to get the best quality stream uh, with a nice, flat, constant, stable bitrate. Uh, so stay tuned. So what I have up and up on the screen currently is Twitch Inspector, and if you don't know what Twitch Inspector is, um, you can access it from your uh, live dashboard on Twitch. Now the settings that I'm going to show you um, today are not only applicable to Twitch, I'm just using Twitch as an example because they've got a nice interface to show what happens when you change them. Alright, so this works for Twitch, it works for Restream, it works for YouTube, it works for Mixer, um, really whatever platform you're going to be streaming to, from what I've tested so far. Um, so yeah, so we're looking at Twitch Inspector, and you can see the average bitrate is 2400. Um, now I set the max bitrate in Streamlabs to 3500, and you can see the minimum is only 400. So you can see there's a lot of variation in what it's doing here, which is not what we want. We want a nice straight line um, so that the, the stream is not dropping frames and it's nice and smooth. Obviously the frame rate average is not here because this was just a test stream, there was no video output or anything like that. All right, so we're gonna need uh, two pieces of software. First, we're gonna get a Twitch test, which is gonna show us uh, the connection quality two different servers that Twitch have. Um, and this is gonna be a nice sort of generalized stream performance that you're probably gonna you know, get similar results to other, other platforms as well. Um, and then the second piece of software that we need is TCP Optimizer. And that's gonna be what is going to change your network settings in Windows and uh, get the best possible results. So I'm just going to open up a new tab and I'm going to search for Twitch test. And it's going to load up and not that one. So we want this one, Twitch test by rich.net. So I'm going to click on there. You can see that's the program. And you want to download this. I already have it downloaded. The download link is down here. So it's a little zip file. Okay. So once you've got Twitch bandwidth test open or Twitch test, uh, you want to configure a few things. So you're going to need your stream key from Twitch. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. You should know how to do that already. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, if it's like your very first time streaming, uh, well then there's, there's plenty of videos on the internet to show you how to do that. Um, all right, so you want to paste your stream key in here and you want to set the TCP window size to automatic, which is what OBS is going to be doing. So it's going to simulate what your OBS connection is. You can leave this on short. Um, and now the closest service to me are all of these European ones. For some reason, this button is not working. So I'm going to just manually select all of these European servers to test. And don't worry guys, it is not going to notify people that you have gone live when you test this. So I'm going to click on start and you'll see it, it starts testing the bandwidth to these servers. So this is your latency and this is how much bandwidth you're able to push to the server. So you can see it's only maxing out at about 2400 kilobits per second. And we get a quality rating of 48. So this means on my current internet, I can only push out this much bandwidth or this much bitrate, because this is a direct mapping to bitrate, to the Twitch servers. And this is gonna be the same for all of these servers, right? So I'm not gonna let it run through all of these, but I just wanna show you this is what happens the first time before you change anything, right? Just to prove to you that this works. Now, before I go further, I do just wanna say I have pretty fast internet. I have 100 down and 50 up, 50 megabit up. And it's only pushing 2.5 megabit to the Twitch servers. 
which is kind of crazy when you think about it. It's a very small fraction of what my internet actually allows. So now we're gonna look into TCP optimizer and we're gonna see what we can do about optimizing the settings so that we can increase the bandwidth we can push to the servers. Hello there, I am Red Rock from the future, but still from your past. Have a think about that one. Uh, so we're gonna download TCP optimizer in this next step. And you're gonna want to head over to speedguide.net. You just have a search for TCP optimizer and it should be the first link. And then you're gonna come down over here to speedguide.net. Uh, you can download it directly from this website. I've already downloaded it and you're going to want to open it up it's going to look something like this. Um, now these are actually the settings that you want. So you're going to want to set this to custom and make sure your network adapter is set and then just copy all of these settings here. I will have images down below, link down below, so you can use those as references. We just set everything as you see it here and then go under advanced and again set everything to exactly as you see here and cool now back to red rock from the past okay now we're back in the twitch bandwidth test and i'm gonna tick some of these servers not all of them because don't need to same again you want to set this automatic and short based on your stream key Hit start, and now you're going to see that this bandwidth is going to go much, much higher. So just wait for it to run. You can see now we're going over 10,000 kilobits per second, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. You can see now I get a quality rating of 98, which is which is pretty much perfect. And different servers are going to have different differing amounts depending on you know where they're located and stuff. But if you set your Streamlab settings to automatic, it will always pick the best one and just use that. So it's probably fine. You can see that one's pretty good. That one's good. And you know the other ones will be good as well. All right. So I've left the stream running for about 10 minutes now. And you can see that the bitrate is a lot more stable so we've got an average of 3300 uh, max is the same and the minimum is 3100 so there's much less variation which means that we didn't drop any frames and everything is just a lot more happier um, so yeah so thank you guys so much for checking out this video uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and you can find me on twitch at twitch dot tv forward slash redrock 609 cool check you guys next time